He didn't slide it back. Thank you. So, look at where I am. What's going on, everyone? Who's on? Ooh. I tell you. So who has plans for the 4th of July? I want to um, go to somebody's, like, is anybody cooking out or having a barbecue or anything? Hey, mother, how are you? So is anybody um, doing any kind of cookout or barbecuing or anything like that? It's almost like you don't know what to do because those of us that um, um, that are Kojic, we would always be at uh, the A meeting during um, the 4th of July. So it's like, well, what do we do? Where do we go? What do we do? I guess just chill out. <laughs> yes, Reverend Armando. I made him. Late last night. I know, where do we, where do we go, or what do we do, because we're so accustomed to being in AIM during the 4th of July. My Frappuccino is gone. It was good, too. Did y'all like him? He said we just don't want to eat barbecue. We want to shout. Well, so the guy, um, what was the man's name? Armando, what was the man's name that did Revival Friday Friday night? Y'all. Kim Burrell has got all the way fine. Like, 
She doesn't look like Petunia. When she first came out, she looked like Petunia, baby. You remember that first album cover with our shark cop? <laughs> well, baby, let me tell you. Let me tell you. That Karen Burrell is giving us body yaddy yaddy. I'm telling you. I am telling you. She was bad when I saw her. Um, I went over to her. So who's this guy? What's the, what's the man's name that did uh, that did Friday night? Oh, that feels good. That water. What was the guy? What was the what was the man's name that preached Friday night? Um. Anyway, so he was pretty good. I uh. Especially for Epistolic, because y'all know I don't tend to, I don't cross-populate like how y'all do. I know y'all, you know, y'all cross-populate, y'all. Y'all will go to this one and go to that one. I don't, you know, I don't do that. I don't like everybody Kojic, so you know I ain't going to like somebody from the, from the outside. Oh, she did Ozempic. Well, that Ozempic, she let that Ozempic work for her. Why y'all, why do y'all do that, though? It's not, it's not negative. Okay, so the thing about it is you talk about fat people, because I was talked about when I was fat. You talk about fat people when they fat, and then when they do something, when they had a surge or Oh, yeah, they had the surgery. Oh, they're doing Ozempic. Okay. So, they they sick of being fat. They don't want to be fat no more. So, why, why y'all, why y'all, I don't think it's bad. As long as she didn't smoke crack to lose Oh, I mean, I, I don't be personally. Yeah, I have uh, people that are epistolic that I, that I like or whatever, but I don't tend to, um, I don't tend to go to y'all's churches and, oh, Lee, that feels so good. Oh, let me show y'all. Oh, heaven belongs to you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 Oh. Oh. I don't want to get... I don't want to get put out of this way. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you, Father. Oh, and I'm grateful. Oh. oh, 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 yes, Lord, my soul says yes. 
She's blessing me. She's blessing me. With it right now, oh Lord, right now. She's blessing me. Ooh. Oh, I am. I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative to the Lord. So anyway, so who, Yashika, are you going to cook out? I'm on Yashika. Yashika can cook. Yashika, you need to barbecue. You need to go on and tell your husband that uh, we have drafted you for the church barbecue. I want some barbecued lamb. Chops. And some brisket. See, I want you, uh, Yashika, I want you to, uh, I want you, yeah, I need you to start smoking it now. I need you to start smoking the brisket tonight. Let it slow smoke, oh, oh shakala bando. Yeah, oh, some ja Jackie says some barbecued oxtails. Oh God, I want some. I want some barbecue. Some barbecue. Yeah, oh, Yashika, I'm serious. Y'all, Yashika can cook. I don't know why she don't do a catering business or something. She wanna, but she's a bishop's wife, so we gotta. We gotta let her be dignified, but every once in a while she gotta she gotta come off that front seat and pull that hat off and get in that kitchen. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, Grams Grams be uh, in the kitchen with a Saint John on, so you can be in the kitchen. Uh, uh, yeah, she could. But I want some lamb chop that. Now, you know some barbecued oxtails. That sounds good. I don't think I've ever had barbecued oxtails. Have we ever had barbecue? Ooh. They're trying to put me to sleep, y'all. Have we ever had barbecued oxtails? That sounds kind of good. That's it. That's it, but cook them low and shh. Yeah, but I want I want that good smoke taste. I don't I don't want them in the pressure cook. I want that I want that good grill. That good that good smoke. And then I want you to do like how daddy with the, would take that lemon juice and that 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 liquid smoke and I need you to make that barbecue sauce. Ooh, Bishop Lindsay in Arkansas. He, ooh, Bishop Lindsay could barbecue. He done retired. Jackie LaShawn, I don't think I've had bro. I heard that, ooh, excuse me, y'all. I've never had no barbecued oxtails, but they sound good. Oh.
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fox Brothers is all right, but see, I know yours is going to be so much better. Y'all, I got, I got pretty legs, so let me see, see y'all. So I got some, got some pretty legs. Yeah, my little body. Who wants my body? Oh my God. Yashika, Deacon Woolfolk, and, um, and Daddy King. They would have them barbecue. They would have that smoker. Oh, God. And I keep telling Lisa that I want Daddy King to do some barbecue. Daddy King. Daddy King passed in there, but I want him to do some of that barbecue. Thank you, Jesus. I want... I want some of Daddy King's barbecue. So anyway, y'all, uh, um, the fourth is Thursday, and I need to have somebody. I need. Uh, I want some potato salad. I want some red skin. Yoshika, you hear me? This is the menu. This is the menu. We gonna do brisket, barbecue brisket. Amen. We're going to do pork, baby back ribs over how that the And, and uh, we're going to do, uh, I want red skin potato salad from the, from the red, the, the red skin, the, the little brown red potatoes. Uh-huh. I want that potato salad. And I don't like a whole lot of mustard because, you know, I'm somewhat allergic to mustard. And then, and then I want, I want baked beans. And I want baked beans with that andouille sausage in them. And them chunks of pineapple. Them chunks of pineapple. <laughs> that's right, see, that's, that's my bishop, that's my brother, that's my brother, that's my brother, see, he just as bourgeois as I am, you, you, you know you like us old, you know you like us old bourgeois men, it, it, it ain't that worse than a, 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 a bougie sanctified man, ooh, we so demanding, and then I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if I want you to do turnip greens or collard greens. I think I like with barbecue, I like turnips a little bit better than the collards. Mm-hmm. And then and then you can rest the rest of the day. We'll let you we'll let you we'll let you rest. Yeah, dies, die. But you know what? Let me tell you what frustrates me about dies. Dies, uh, barbecue. They run out of everything. They don't ever cook enough food. Oh, y'all, she. Oh, let me show you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So anyway, um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to go on because people keep asking me about it. 
Uh, I don't mind. Oh, y'all, let me see. Let me show y'all. She putting the black on. See, I like my toes black. Mm -hmm. I like my toes black. Okay, so everybody wants to know what I thought about Mother Shirley Wooten and the barbecue. I mean, and the corn on the cob fiasco. Um, I, I, I will say it like this. Let me preface my comments and my statements like this. Um, even when we go in these convention centers, um, and when we go into hotels or where we have to go to, uh, have service, there are certain things that are sacred um i don't think church is a playground um it, it, it it's not an amusement park um worship and the worship experience um should be enjoyable um but it's serious it is um, serious business. And I do not, and uh, myself and Bishop Owens, we used to talk about this. I do not care for a lot of joking and jesting in the pulpit. Now, some of my friends, they say that I'm bougie and I'm stuck up and I'm this or, or what have you. Um, your soul, and the soul of the individuals in the audience um, are at stake, and it's not—it's not a—it's not, not a joke and jest and a playful uh, environment. And so, for you to have a woman standing behind you. And you bust out with a out of a bag with with a, a big piece of corn on the cob, and then not just have the corn on the cob, but to have the corn on the cob and to bite down into it and talk about you cook the corn. Uh, is a little is a bit much for me. And so, um, I, uh, I didn't like it. Uh, now, the whole thing where he said, I got to pee, uh, if you go back and listen to his message, it was a part of a, a illustration uh, that he was making. But... Um, they both, they both, uh, they both uh, was a bit much for my taste this past week. Um, a little bit of their gravy went all over my plate. I just, I don't, uh, many of you all have not had the opportunity to experience me and the Lord used me and for me to to preach. I but I do not uh, I do not care for a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, joking um, and clowning and playing. Uh, my critique of. Um, the Sunday school guy, I didn't really know him. What's his name? I think it's Kevin Ellis or Kevin or Mark Ellis or something of that nature. Uh, he seemed to have a very good and uh, a solid message. I uh, enjoyed him. Uh, I'm going to say this to the evangelism department. Uh, Revival Fire is just that it should be revival fire now if y'all want to teach sunday school 
then you need to go over to the Sunday school lesson. I'm not, I'm not coming to revive. I'm coming to revival fire because I want that balance. I want that um, and 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 what have you. Uh, if y'all don't put nobody up, that's not gonna let the folks out. Cause that's what that's what it's supposed to be with revival fire. Now, if you want to go and sit down and be quiet, then you need to go to Sunday school. You need to go over to uh, uh, missions. Do you hear me when I say it? Cause most of y'all, most of y'all, y'all teach, and y'all got little missions anyway. But if you're gonna come to revival fire, then. I, you know, it need to be burning up. It, it, the, the 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 service need to be hot. Don't be, don't be, don't tell the kids to sit down. What you tell them to sit down for? The place that said, it, 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 "What did the song say?" I wish somebody sure would catch on fire. And y'all so busy trying to put the fire out, and everybody that was born and there and all the denominations that used to be born and used to be quiet now they shouting and we sitting up looking like we in a Catholic church, like well, hail Mary full of grace. Let's head our down. I don't know why Asian people talk so loud. Is it is it that? I mean, I, uh, it, it, it make, it, they they have to holler it and growl it out. Why they have to? Quiet, quiet, quiet. You're too loud, Lily. She has to holler at everybody. She not outside. Use your inside voice, honey. They must have projects over there. She she she's hollering like she in the project. <laughs> be hollering. They be hollering. You you know how y'all used to ho y'all used to holler for one project to the next. Yeah. Lily. Soft voice. Yeah, inside voice. <laughs> she got a little too much of us in her. <laughs> Lily got some nigga in her, baby. So anyway, um, so I didn't like Clark. He kept saying, oh, the Lord told him to shout. And then every time the folks got up to shout, then he wanted to tell you, oh, be quiet, be quiet. So um, I didn't like that. Um, it's one person in particular. Uh, I, I don't like... I, can I let me say this to you all? Let me say this to you all. Finesse me. Finesse me. But don't insult my intelligence. Don't play politics and allow. Don't allow somebody to do an inspirational message and they and they copy in somebody else's message. And, and talking about that it was necessary. I don't want to hear that it was necessary because that has been played out. I want you to get down on your knees and I want you to call on God. Do you hear me, Maurice? So when you go back and tell it, tell him what I said. I want you to get down on your knees. I want you to call on God and I want you to get a word. I don't want you to get a, God ain't giving you nobody else's word. All that mess about it was necessary for you to go through. The people at, at, at Revival Fire, they want to be uplifted. They want it to be inspired. They don't need to hear about you no, know, about you no, know, uh, uh, the pain and the sorrows and all of that. They want to be inspired. They want to be rejuvenated. They want to be lifted. 
They want to be revived. Ain't that why they call it revival fire? Come on here. Do you want to be revived or you want to go there and die? Are you, is it revival fire or is it revival hospice? Come on here. You standing up there hollering and screaming. And then don't put nobody up that don't know how to preach. If you a teacher, if you a teacher, then you need to be in Sunday school teaching a class or something. Don't be up at don't be up at nine and ten o'clock at, at ten and eleven o'clock at night. And, and it's a, it was necessary for me to go through this. No, it's, it was was necessary for you to sit down and shut up and then for them to take that mic away from you. And you, because you, you, you didn't politic and kissed and licked somebody behind, and they felt like uh, they was gonna give you a chance. Ain't nobody gonna call you. You, you ain't gonna get no engagement. You ain't gonna preach that, but at somebody. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> so we'll be we'll do some more of that in a more formal and an official capacity and setting. Um, but the ball headed the what's the guy's name, the epistolic guy's name? He was decent. He was uh he was uh, he was decent. I'm not particularly for I'm not a fan of people from the outside coming into our meetings because we pay reports to this national organization. We only have about eight meetings a year and um, those slots and those opportunities should be with, given to people that have labored and invested in this organization. It shouldn't be given our stage should not be handed over to an outsider. Oh, y'all don't like this kind of teaching. No, 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 no. So, I, it, it, the 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 platform should be given to those Kojic folks. Should sing. We got enough recording artists or people that want to be recording artists. Why you gotta go? Why you gotta go get some Baptist boy to sing to us? So, so why you it's a you know you ain't it's enough for culture folk that ain't living nothing and ain't living right let 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 them let the sinners that at least is a part of our denomination let them let them get up and say something oh y'all don't like this kind of teaching y'all don't like nobody that's gonna say it but i'm gonna say it anyhow i'm gonna say it anyhow yeah we got enough we got enough sissies and and uh, dykes, dykes on bikes, and uh, liars, and and backbiters. We ain't gotta get no outside liar. We just reach and reach over there in that pool of lies we got. You know, you're gonna use one of our sisters. We got plenty of them. Gonna use one. Gonna use one of our dykes. We got, we got them. They lipping it. They was over there last week lipping and lapping. Yeah. Use one of them. But you gotta get somebody from the outside for. Yeah, uh, let me uh let me tell you, I haven't gotten that, uh any cash app or no stars. Y'all ain't giving no stars or something with y'all. Y'all ain't giving no stars. Tiffany. So Tiffany, what's um <clears throat> Tiffany, I need to have you come on so you can explain what's going on with Joe. And uh, um, and uh, Charles, uh, I guess their time is about up. So they lied and said they was going to be. Uh, uh, they lied. It's a star down at the bottom. You see the microphone. You see the icons at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so, somebody tell the man Marcus Parker how to give me some stars. What you can do, you ain't got to do that, Marcus. Go on and uh, go on and send the cash out. That's what you. How to do your shalalala bando? 
Um, oh, we're going to start back prayer and prophecy. We're going to start back. Lee, I told you, you're too loud. Uh, 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 Lee, Lee is too loud. Ooh, if we go over there to their country, it's probably real loud. They just probably be hollering, I'm your, I'm your whole You know, that's how Tina, Tina, Tina Turner, when she was, when she became a Buddhist, she started hollering, I'm your whole ring. He killed on your, mm, on your whole ring. Do, 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 and they chant to Buddha. But anyway, so um so I don't I don't I don't like outsides coming in. Coming in in our house. I don't go to a Baptist funeral. I don't wanna I don't wanna get the thing. And then what was going on with the book? Why didn't we get the program book? We didn't get the program book. The program was uh was uh, uh, yeah, well they lied. They lied and said they was gonna be on the red carpet at the BT Awards, and they wasn't. See, she's a dangerous liar. He or she, uh, they tell lies and fairy tales. And thing. So she lied. He lied. He lied. He's a liar. <laughs> Tiffany, she, uh, Tiffany, Tiffany will come on and tell us. She wrote a long thing of uh, trying to explain them, them, them special needs people. And whatever it was that happened and that was supposed to happen that didn't happen properly. Mm. Mm. The Lord said not so. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm going to go I've been on with 30 minutes. I'm going to get on off of here. I think Lee is done with my feet. Let me, let me show y'all. I gotta get. I I want to get that bunion, those bunions removed. But I am. Um, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid that it's gonna take a long time to heal, and I don't wanna. Be out of my shoe. Greetings. So, anyway, y'all send me some love. Appreciate you all. Like, share, all that good stuff. Like, share the live, make sure you subscribe, and all of that. want to make sure that you all are in full um, uh, connection with me, with Sir William, and uh, let people know that I'm on and when I'm on so that uh, we can even have even greater and higher and better, better numbers, okay? So thank you. Oh, greetings, Robert. Greetings, Avis. Y'all are coming in, but y'all can catch the uh, the replay portion of the live. Y'all can uh, y'all can catch that part for what uh, for what you all for what you all missed. All right. Okay, y'all.